Hello learner, this is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today in grade 4, it is science and technology on human body parts of a teeth or parts of a tooth. And I want to pair ourselves. I would like us to pair ourselves, everybody with this partner or our partner, and let your partner open his or her mouth and check what is in our mouth. What have you seen in your desk mate's mouth? Yes, you have seen the white small bones inside the mouth. Those small white bones inside the mouth, we use them to bite, to eat, are called the teeth. One is tooth, many are teeth. And if you look very carefully, I would want to ask one question from that, those pairing. Do they look alike, the tooth? The teeth, does they look alike? They have different shapes. They have different sizes. That is very, very correct. All tooth in our mouth don't look the same. All tooth in our mouth, they look different from one another. Some are the same, others are different. So that is what we call truth in our mouth. And today I want us to look at this chart. It has parts of the truth that you can see, that you have seen in your partner. The parts of a tooth that you have seen in your partner. A teeth or a tooth has three parts. A tooth has three parts. We have crown. Crown is the part that you saw. The white part that you have seen in the mouth of your the schemate. Then there is another part that is inside the gum. The red is the gum. The red chin is the gum. And uh, it has been indicated here in red color. Inside that gum, we have another part. We call it root. And root, it is attaching the tooth to the, our bones, or our body. And then the part that joins the tooth and the crown, we call it neck. So we, the tooth has three parts. A tooth has three parts. Three parts. A tooth has three parts. Part number one, a tooth has three parts. Part number one is the crown. And we have said, what is a crown? Crown is the outer part that we see. The outer part that we can see is called the crown. The outer part that we see. What is the color of the outer part that you can see, John? The outer part of our tooth is color white. And that is the crown. That part of the teeth or the tooth that is white in color is the one we call it crown. The other part, number two, part number two from our chart, we call it the neck. Neck is another part of our tooth. Neck is another part of our tooth. And this is now the part joining the crown and the hidden part of the tooth, that is the root. The part joining the crown, the tooth, the neck joins, it joins the crown and the roots. It joins the crown and the root, or it joins the crown and the hidden part of the tooth. The crown and the hidden part of the tooth, and then the part number three is called the root. Root. Root, from the simple language that we know, it is something that provides anchorage. It is used to hold something so that it may not fall. So the same, same work. The tooth, it is the part hidden under the gum. It is the part hidden under the gum. Part hidden under the gum. It is the part hidden under the gum. 
the part under the gum. The gum is the red thing, the chin, where you can see the red thing here. It is the gum. It is always red in color. It is hides or it harbors the root. So we have said a tooth is made up of three parts. The crown, the neck, and the root. Those are the three parts of the tooth. Class, our activity for today. Our activity for today. In our groups, kindly, the activity for today. Observe the chart bearing the parts of a tooth. Then draw and label properly that chart. Draw and label. Be part of the tooth. Be part of a tooth. Draw. Observe it well. Draw properly from that chart. The parts of that tooth. When you go home kindly, ask your parent to help you identify from his or her laptop parts of a tooth. The way we have done, I've said you draw and label them, and then print those pictures of showing parts of the tooth and bring them so that we may attach them in our portfolio for our future learning. Kindly observe from the parent's laptop or the gadget that she has. It may be a, an iPad or a tablet. Print parts of a tooth and bring it so that we can attach it in our portfolio for our future reference. And that marks the end of our lesson for today. Have a wonderful time.